Okay, so hello everyone and welcome back. So dito sa video na ito, ipapatuloy natin yung business plan na ginagawa uh, natin since last week. So today is February 12, Monday. And I just received some new files um, through Skype. Uh, Skype can be used to send mga pictures and you do that simply by dragging the file Uh, for example, dito sa left side, i paliit mo konte yung window ng Windows Explorer, which is itong na sa left side and yung Skype na sa right, and you can start dragging the files. Whatever file you want to send to the client, you can just drag it here on Skype, and it will automatically upload the the file and send it to the client. So I received some files this way from the client and they provided some instructions na ito yung sa tingin nila yung competition nila. Ayan. And then, pas merong magazine, mga screenshot from a certain magazine, popular magazine, na ang future ng uh, TV tsaka mga books so I'm gonna go ahead and read that so what I did was once I received that instruction I noted it down immediately dito sa uh, Gantt chart because pag marami kang marami ka masyadong mga to do's minsan madaling makalimutan kasi yun na nga most clients talaga sobrang dami ng ideas so important to keep track kahit hindi mo magawa lahat at the same time you know to just list down the to do list kahit mag abot yan ng 100 items na kailangan mong gawin and slowly just start doing that over the next 6 months or 1 year and then I also check the website Uh, earlier, I checked the website kasi merong changes yung developer. And I found na hindi, medyo malabo yung, yung text dito na dinagdag. So, I just added a to-do list here na it needs to be clearer and hindi siya readable ngayon. So, just need to follow up on the developer for that na ayusin niya. And then, next step. Okay, we'll proceed on sa business plan and then start saving or start reading mo na the new documents that were sent. And let's see what's gonna happen. And how we're gonna move forward after we read this.
Okay, so I just read some things. I skipped some things na tingin ko hindi ma hindi natin magamit. And then the body coach to yung website ni Joe Wicks. Ito yung YouTube niya. I know this channel does not exist. Kasi doble yung YouTube. You can eat loads of healthy food, do short, intense workouts, and get living. That's what it's all about, right? Oh, sorry, you caught me mid warm up. And I've got another little workout for you today. This time it's a kettlebell workout. I'm coming here direct from Niagara Falls, Canada. I'm here in Singapore, the Sardinia off the coast of Italy, Venice Beach, California. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, there'll be something for you. I don't believe that anyone in the world has to be unfit. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the Body Co TV and let's do this. I'll see you next time. On the body. Okay, so there's a paragraph here that's very interesting that I think we can use doon sa uh, business plan. Okay, study two is the beach body. Makes 
1.3 billion. So I just added uh, two sections here and dito sa summary at the top we're gonna add that doon sa baba I still haven't finished the gathering the data um, from last Friday so I'm just gonna continue that today here uh, case study one and of course we're gonna start writing here uh, and at the same time let's split the view then split let's split the ano the references section dito sa baba. Uh, Nandag natin si Joe Wicks pati si The Body, The Beach Body. Okay. Fitness Guru So 21 to <clears throat> I wonder if we can use as a case study the um, Transformers Rescue Bots na franchise although hindi siya in the health industry um it is in the kids industry and more on I'm looking for ano sana, how much does it or how much was invested into it so, na natin yung sa wikipedia So, ito at least meron siyang toy sales. Tsaka yung mga ilan yung nanonood. Let's see. Since hindi siya maload, let's try the this one here, yung cached. So that's a useful feature. Uh, if a website is currently down, wala palang internet. Mayroong nag-off. Oh, yun ako.
Okay, so some good statistics about yung Transformers Rescue Bots. Um, 1.5 million kids na ang na-reach niya. And an even better uh, an even better case study would be if we can find a certain animation na nagatit siya ng mga ng health about children but that's the thing eh. I don't know uh, if I don't know of any children's animation health children's animation na yung grabe kasi ka talaga so wala siyang wala masyado siyang ano Wala masyado siya sa health na industry. Anyway, it's a good... It was a good try, but... I'm just gonna uh, rescue bots transformers rescue bots is an animation successful TV animation for children that focuses on um, story where robots uh, the robots are fire trucks uh, yung police cars uh, ambulances uh, construction uh, vehicles where they go out saving people in need. So it's more of non-violent. Uh, it's a non-violent story. Uh, where they save people from natural disasters. So it's more of a heroic shot. Answer this call. Okay, Hi Oliver. Uh, hi David. Hi. Yes. How are you? Ah, uh, doing good. Doing good. You better? You were you sick or something? Ah, uh, just a little fever yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Are you better today? Yeah. Yeah, better. Yeah. Make sure you uh drink plenty of teas and uh hot tea. Ah, yeah. Wrap yourself up nice and warm. Hmm. And uh, you know. Just look after yourself. Make sure you do the meditation. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Makes sense. So, um, so how, how is the business uh, plan coming? Um, just obviously, um, because this is, this is you know very, <laughs> a very important, a uh, very important for us at this uh, stage, of the, of our project. Um, because obviously, 
you know, we, we are going to ask investors to invest into the project, which will, okay. will allow us to, you know, ten, ten folds, increase by ten folds, you know, okay. so it's important that we get all the relevant information into this business plan. Um, mm. And as we've been asked about before from two other people, which, which our business is going to be done uh, last, last week. Um, mm. And so you know, as, you know, weeks, weeks are sometimes uh, crucial when it comes to business um, because obviously we need to move forward. We need to get the get the um, investment in so we can uh, we can push things push things forward. All right. So. No, I, I just, you know, want to make sure that, you know, you, 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 you're good with doing it. You understand everything, and you can, you can, you see what needs to be done. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. But, and um, you know, from from what you're gathering and researching and writing, you you're getting to understand, you know, more about the business, etc. Yes, I'm getting to understand better. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what what and what do you think of the concept so far, like from what you've understood? Yeah, I think it's really very promising, and uh, you know the demand for it is is really very big. Yeah. And then you know it. I think that's an a market that will always there's there's always need for it because you know after children watch one TV series, they're gonna want to watch another. So there's always yeah. gonna be yeah, it's a hungry hungry industry yeah it's just about making it yeah. different and what is needed in this era uh, attractive boys that mm. uh, kids are able to get to understand it so mm. um so it's all it's all good yeah yeah all good good great so basically um um okay let me just so so um, okay, so let's just talk about the other stuff now, not the business plan. So, um, so what? So basically, what we need to do um, each week, we need to produce a number of contents for you know for the platform. So for all the platforms, okay. some of the content is going to overlap, so we will use it on you know practically all the platforms. So we've got you know all the areas like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, SoundCloud, iTunes, website, LinkedIn. YouTube, Medium, etc. Um, so for for each of these platforms, I've devised a timetable that um, is going to be interlinking the content which we create each week uh, to filter into each of these platforms at specific times. So what what I need um, what I need each week from you, and I mentioned this last week, is that some of the work that we do for academy of health superheroes we will be able to overlap and post it onto the david and agnes website mm. or, or brand i should say onto david and agnes brand yeah. and um and vice versa yes yeah. so what i'm looking for each week is to is to test the market to see if i can push it hard um you know for the next few months which will require to push out some, you know, a lot of content. So, for example, if I push out one image on Instagram per day, and I add 30 hashtags, and um, I just do that once per day, then I'm I'm going to get views. But if I do it three times, then I would expect to get three times the amount of reach, impressions, mm. people to follow us from the search. Hashtag, hashtags, etc. So, what? Um, so, what I'm thinking is that for people to get in tune with what you do, and you have to produce, you know, X amount of content. And you know, it's, it's like if you look at Gary V, he posts a vlog every day. Yeah, yeah. He posts, he posts videos every day. He posts images every day, uh, and he spreads it around all his social media platforms. So today he might post a video on Facebook. And in the same video, he may post on Wednesday on LinkedIn, for example. Yeah. 
because there be there will be some crossover where you get the same follower following you on all the platforms, and then mm. on some platforms you may only get somebody just following you on Instagram because they've only got an Instagram account, or maybe right. just on Facebook because they've only got a Facebook account for right. relevant reasons. Maybe it's, they don't have businesses; they, it's just for personal use, um, so they don't get involved in all the platforms. Um, same for me. If I wasn't in business, I wouldn't be using all the platforms. I would probably only be using the ones that I would benefit from. Hmm. Um, so, what we need to do is to have the week. We need to produce um, three podcasts per week and three videos. Perfect. So, blog, they could be recorded via audio. So I recorded, I recorded one. I recorded the first act did uh, last week. Hmm. So I will get somebody in the team to put that together and we'll post that in the back. The blogs may be turned into podcasts, yeah. and then three videos uh, per week as well, like scripted videos for me to record. Okay. So the stuff that I was talking to you uh, about before, that's the sort of stuff that we will be, I will be looking to record, you know, really get it into people's heads and you know the stuff I was talking to you about the other day, like the stuff that UV talks about, the stuff yeah, I yeah. about for, you know, for the last you know, five Five so I want to start recording this sort of stuff and putting it out there, um, and then within the next, you know, two to three months, when I can, when we get the investment for for the for the business, then I will be looking to hire somebody full time to 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 do the vlogging. So mm. um, we will have a daily vlog as well, then, and we will push out. It's like gone from it's gone from um, reality TV you now to vlogging. Like mm. you see a lot of over the next six months, a lot of people who have humility will will start a vlog like will smith has started the vlog mm. uh, and you'll see a lot and you'll see a bunch of other people now starting to follow the trend because that's that's where the attention is moving towards now it's moving towards the vlog and you can reach you know you can reach you know millions of people all around the world so okay. that's that, that's something very important for us to start uh, to do so i I've I've um I've put together like uh you know just a, just a rough uh, spreadsheet. So what we will do, we will call um so like this is week seven out of the year, um and we've got video four, five, and six to post this week. So on Facebook, for example, the video will be posted on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Video four will be on Monday. Video five on Wednesday. Video six on uh, Friday. Mm. So then in that bra in that uh, spreadsheet that particular video which was posted which is video 4 will have a name because then that video may be able to be posted in week 28 for example yeah because just because it's on a video today doesn't mean you can't use it ever again you can still repost it especially on your Facebook if you put it in from the back end then you don't lose the views and the comments and the likes you can just re-upload it and then you know people will see it because not every Everybody who follows you, they're not going to see everything. They may miss something because if you post in, you know, three things uh, per week, they may they may miss on the feed because they are following also another, you know, thousand people. Mm. So, plenty of uh, there's plenty of times we can repost uh, specific things. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. So you you understand? Yeah, makes sense. Understand. Yeah. So what I will do, I will just send you this spreadsheet. It's just, um, it's just a draft copy. Uh, so this is what I'm looking to do for uh, Alex and David. I'm called Cad House to be Heroes. So, uh, I'm just gonna find it and I'll send it to you. Ah, oh, here we go. Got it. So, so okay. So if you just uh, open it up. Get 
Can it come yeah, through? Yeah, uh, downloading. Okay. Just one second. Just what? Somebody's just uh, calling my phone. Okay. One second. Did it come? Did it come through? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Okay, good. So, um, so the the first uh, box, um, that's just um, that was just a rough draft that I just put together. But then I dissected it and uh, categorized each platform. So, you know, so what what we want to do? We want to create, um, you know, three, three, three each week, which is twelve per month uh, for each. So for the mm. video, the audio, for the blog. And the blog may revert into the audio, and the audio may revert into the video, and vice versa. The video may go into the uh, audio, and, the, and then the audio goes into the into the blog. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what we are looking to do. And then the images. Then I've got you know the graphic designers who are, are creating the images um, for the for the feeds as well. So then, for example, for Facebook, it'll be a full-length video. If it's five minutes, six minutes, uh, whatever it is. But then when we go into Instagram. It will just be a, a one-minute video that that the video editor will just dissect and put the one-minute clip together, mm. which which then will lead to the link in the bio that they then will get redirected to YouTube for the full edition of the of the video. The same for Twitter, it will just be a short one-minute video, then the link to YouTube. Um, so then we are taken onto our YouTube channel because you make money on YouTube, so we build up our audience, get the views in, etc. Uh, Snapchat is just going to be um, again reverting to our YouTube channel from there um, and then SoundCloud will only have the audio version which builds up our audience for audio and then obviously our website will have all this content as well because we will drive traffic to our website that they then will be able to view our content. LinkedIn mm. is my personal LinkedIn page so we will I will post on there as well, just, you know, open people's uh, eyes about what we are doing. And then YouTube, obviously on YouTube, we just have, we'll just have the videos, um, the video that we produce, the full length video will be on there. So, you know, we'll be driving, we'll be driving instant. That's where we get views, that's where we get, um, that's where you can make money as well through advertisement, etc. there. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, and then obviously on Facebook, is you know Facebook, we will just um, drive the traffic towards it, we promote stuff there as well, our books, etc. So um, yeah, so just you know, I'll, I'll be working on this uh, this week now, um, putting putting in some content into these to these areas. Uh, so we'll use some of the stuff we've already produced, um, and then the stuff that you make this week, we will use next week. Yeah. Okay. So the three blogs, three audios, three videos um, that you that you make this week, we will use next week. Okay. Okay. All okay. clear. All clear. Awesome. So um, so Agnes will speak to you um a little bit. Uh, okay. You know, in the next uh, I don't know half an hour or so. Okay. Okay. Got if you need, if you let me know, I'm online all day. Okay. All Thanks, right, Oliver. Okay. Okay, thanks Bye. also. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so that was the meeting. Um, ang plan lang is medyo, medyo ano, up and down yung volume nung sa Skype. Kasi maraming nagagamit ng internet. So, uh, sige lang. Uh, but the general idea is yung sinusulat ko ng mga video script 
gagamitin din yon para gumawa ng podcasts at gagamitin din yon para gawing vlogs so actually yung script yun ay yung vlog i-edit lang konti then i-record ng client yung video na siya ang nagsasalita tapos yung video meron namang software na yung, yung video format gagawin yung audio format na kukunin niya yung audio ihihiwalay niya yung sa video so yun yung magiging podcast So actually, the focus is just the three blogs, tapos yung client na ang maggawa ng video, and then yung software na ang magstrip, strip niya yung yung video doon, ay yung video para yung maiwan, yung audio na lang. There's a lot of free tools, uh, MP4 to MP3. That's one example of a, you know, convert a video to audio. So maraming mga free. I search mo lang sa Google yan. Uh, video to audio converter free Ayan. so maraming mga free dito yung magtry ka lang ng siguro mga tatlo kasi minsan hindi ma hindi masyado effective yung iba or may limitation sila Ayan. and then so continuing our children's uh, business plan children's health business plan Yeah. So nandito siya sa ano? Nandito siya sa iPad or sa Apple nandito din siya sa Android na phone. And let's just take a look anong classing. Kaganda ng ano? Kaganda ng graphics. gonna add this in the references as well and gonna do that on Google Play also on Apple and Android consider ako uh, it would be good to have some figures ba na how much does it make rescue bot sales siguro kung walang ano information sige lang sales data Statistics. Okay. Reaching 1.5 million kids. A moral story for children. Hey, 
tinggal. Hmm. Oke. Okay. Nah. Lagi kayaknya mama. This is on 2017, so that's good. Uh, 2017, May 16. Okay. So the next step is just to do the same thing uh, that I did here for rescue bots. I'm gonna do it for yung case study one na Joe Wicks, pati yung the beach body. So I think that's it uh, for this video and I might record another video doon sa next na meeting with the client which might be in a couple of minutes. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.